Hello. World AIDS Day 2020 will be like no other. COVID-19 is threatening the progress the world has made in health and development over the past 20 years, including the gains we have made against HIV. Like all epidemics, COVID is widening the inequalities that already existed. Gender inequality, racial inequality, social and economic inequalities, we are becoming a more unequal world. But I am proud that over the past year, the HIV movement has mobilized to defend our progress, to protect people living with HIV and other vulnerable groups, and to push back the coronavirus. Whether campaigning for multi-month dispensing of HIV treatment, organizing home delivery of medicines, or providing financial assistance, food and shelter to at-risk groups, HIV activists and affected communities have again shown they are the mainstay of the HIV response. I salute you. It is the strength within communities, inspired by a shared responsibility to each other that has contributed in great part to our victories over HIV. Today, we need that strength more than ever before to beat the colliding epidemics of HIV and COVID-19. Friends, in responding to COVID-19, the world cannot afford to make the same mistakes it made in the earlier years of the fight against HIV, when millions in developing countries died waiting for treatment. Even today, more than 12 million people are still waiting to get on HIV treatment. And 1.7 million people became infected with HIV last year. And why? Because they could not access essential services. That's why UNAIDS has been a leading advocate for a people's vaccine against the coronavirus. Global problems need global solidarity. As the first two COVID vaccine candidates have proven effective and safe, there is hope that more vaccines will follow. But there are serious threats to ensuring equitable access. So we are calling on companies to openly share their technology and know-how and to waive their intellectual property rights so that the world can produce the successful vaccines to the huge scale and speed required to protect everyone. And so that we can get our global economy back on track. Our goal of ending the AIDS epidemic was already off track before COVID-19. We must put people first to get the AIDS response back on track. We must end the social injustices that put people at risk of getting HIV. There's no excuse for governments to not invest fully for universal access to health for everyone. Barriers such as upfront user fees must come down. Women and girls must have their human rights fully respected, their equality. The criminalization and marginalization of gay men, transgender people, sex workers, and people who use drugs must stop. As we approach the end of 2020, the world is in a dangerous place and the months ahead will not be easy. Only global solidarity and shared responsibility will help us to beat the coronavirus and end the AIDS epidemic and guarantee 
the right to health for all people. Thank you.